sure good be here. Now, my speech is limited because they don't know for sure what caused it, but if you will bear with me, you'll have to listen a little extra to get all I want to say. I can't get all the prepper, prepositions and articles. I can't put all in there. <laughs> so turn to Psalm 28. Psalm 28. If you'll stand with me, verse 1, unto thee will cry, O Lord, my rock, be not silent to me lest thou be silent to me. I become them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee. When I lift up hands toward thy holy oracle. And then verse 6. Blessed be, Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is strength and shield, heart trusted in him, and I am help. Let's pray. Lord, thank you much helping me not hurt as bad as used to. Thank you, dear God. What a loving thing you have done for me. Lord, thank you this church and Brother Norris and Brother Kurt. Bless them in their ministries here. Give protection to Pastor and Mrs. Norris. Bless my Donna and Luke as he'll speak tonight. Lord, thank you all blessings. I love you dearly. Jesus' name pray. Amen. May be seated. Now, my youngest son, Luke, going to preach tonight. We have a lot of great speakers at camp. 
through summer. But Luke is my favorite speaker out of all of them. So you'll be blessed tonight. I know will. I want you to see what the psalmist realized. First of all, he realized he'd been heard. Notice, if will, in verse 2, he pray, hear voice, supplications. In verse 6, blessed be Lord, because he heard voice supplications. He prayed in verse 2, and he got his answer in verse 6. <laughs> I like it when God answer my prayer. And it's wonderful he prayer answering God. The greatest prayer you can pray is Lord Jesus save me. That greatest prayer of all. And you can pray many things after that. God has helped my pain level so much. I thank him dearly. And I remember a time when it wasn't best to say amen. I eating in home. Dear lady said, here is a new dish I never cooked before. <laughs> I dread those. <laughs> She kind of woman that just go round table putting food on plate. She put some of that on there and went on about business. I took the bike and I knew I was in trouble. Finally, she sat down and took a bite herself. She said, ooh, that didn't turn out very good, did it? <laughs> and before I knew it, I said, amen. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with her 100%. <laughs> that wasn't best time to say amen, though. <laughs> and I am glad, though, that God answers prayer. That's something all us need work on is prayer. Do you pray like should? I have been convicted 
of prayer life. And the Lord has helping me. And I thank him for it. I thank him for conviction. So he realized he'd been heard. And then he realized he'd been helped. Notice verse 7. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Isn't it good to know the Lord can help us? I mean, if the president called me, he might do well to do it, too. <laughs> I got a few things I could share with him. <laughs> but if called me and said, John, all the power of the United States military at your command, that still wouldn't be much as God helping me. God's help is greater than all put together. My Donna is my help me. She's so good to me. She helped me. I pray two things about dying. Let me go first and let me go fast. <laughs> and because don't know what to do without my Donna. She's so good to me. Then I want you to see how Psalmist responded. In verse 7, after he say, I am helped, he say, therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth. One way he responded was rejoice in his heart. Boy, that a wonderful thing to do. Rejoice in heart. I remember time one sitting airplane beside a woman lost. She had two PhDs. I know she told me. <laughs> and I trying to get her saved. And I told her, only way to get saved is through Jesus Christ. That only way. I said, God made heaven, 
and only put one door in it, and that door called Jesus Christ. She got mad. She was talking to me, and spit was coming out of her mouth and hitting me on the side of my face. The woman went ballistic. She said, what right does he have to exclusivity? I didn't know that big word means. My Donna never sat me down and say, John, you need no word exclusivity. That wasn't my vocabulary. <laughs> I said, ma'am, if you'll tell me that big word mean, I'll try to answer you. She said it means somebody that has the sole right to something. The only one that can say it. Oh, I said, ma'am, I got answer for you. <laughs> Jesus walked on earth and said he gonna die. And three days later, get up out of the grave. And he did it. And I said, ma'am, when you can do that, you make your own rules. <laughs> she, <laughs> she said, I bet... <laughs> I bet you believe God made world in seven days too, don't you? I said, no, ma'am, he did it in six. <laughs> <laughs> he rested on the seventh. <laughs> she didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> she handed them over to me. I was eating mine. And said, can you open these? And I said, see this little tab here? Pull right down there and it'll open right up. I'm thinking, yes, Miss PhD. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that for you, double PhD. <laughs> he rejoiced. And also, and with my song, will I praise him. He rejoiced in heart and rejoiced with his lips. What a wonderful thing. Never forget to thank the Lord for things he give you. And then, last of all, look at what he requested. He said, verse 8, The Lord is strength, and he is 
saving strength of anointed. Save thy people. Uh, he prayed first of all people be saved. Oh, I prayed for a lost person, people this morning. I hope you keep lost people on heart. Pray for them, be saved. I had a man named Berlin. And I prayed for him. He was lost. And I prayed for him nearly 20 years. And he finally got saved. I rejoiced greatly when I heard he got saved. He a changed man. Pray for lost people. You see, lost people are on their way to hell. That awfulest thing can be. Pray for them, please. Pray that people be saved. Loved ones would be terrible if loved ones end up in hell. Oh, pray for them. I plead with you. I'm praying and I've already prayed people in here that might be lost would get saved. How get saved? Believe Jesus Christ came to this earth born of virgin, lived perfect life, and died for you on cross. Then whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Isn't that wonderful? Now you've got to admit you're a sinner. You've got to admit that. If you don't think you're a sinner, you can't get saved. That's part salvation repentance. And ask Jesus Christ to save you. And he'll do it. And he said, and bless thine inheritance. Bless them. I don't know about you, but I thank the Lord people who have come up me too and my Donna and say 
we pray for you. That blessed me right there. Pray for the blessings of God. Pray for the blessings of God on pastor and church staff and school staff. Pray God bless them. And he will. I pray God bless each of you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you much so for saving me and blessing me so wonderful. Lord, I ask you, please, if someone here not saved, they get saved this morning. Lord, I pray you will bless them once saved to live for you in a great and godly way. Please, Lord, that my prayer. And thank you for hearing me. And thank you for helping me. Oh, how good you've been. In Jesus' name, while heads are still bowed and eyes are still closed, my eyesight is not very good, so I'm going to ask Brother Kirk, will you come up and stand beside me, Brother Kirk? If there's someone here this morning and you would say, Brother John, Brother Kirk, I'm not sure I say I'm just not positive if I die, I go to heaven. But I know I don't want to go to hell. Pray for me. Would you raise your hand right now?